My name is Doug Falter. I was born in Ohio. Um, I did not grow up around the ocean. Um, I'm a water photographer now here on the North Shore of Oahu, uh, where the waves can get massive and it's nothing like where I grew up, but I somehow stumbled across this place and found myself living here and photographing the ocean here and it's now what I love to do. Um, I've been photographing the ocean and people in the ocean for around six or seven years now. I really enjoy it. I specialize in surfing. Um, I also do a lot of work with couples, underwater portraiture, stuff like that. Um, I also love to just do video as well. I don't really do it for the money. Um, I just do it because I love it. And I just, it, I feel like when you work hard for something and you can see that and you can keep it and hold it and you have it and you can see your improvement over time, um, that's something that I think it's, it's something you can work towards and, and be proud of. But my, my favorite thing to photograph, I would say, would just be surfing in the ocean. Surfing probably pipeline or any of the more prominent waves here on the North Shore. Getting, getting, getting pictures of the guys when they're in the tube, like just driving through that, it's just not a sight that the average person ever sees, especially from the angles I get to see them from. A couple times I've had waves crashed down on me where I was in a place where I don't think I was the safest and I'd get tossed around and held under for so long you don't your mind will start to panic and you'll lose your air as soon as you panic your air just goes and you feel like you have no time whenever that's happened to me I've almost just told myself this is it I just I'm ready to die if I'm aware that the waves are going to be big one day, like maybe the next day, I will just always follow the surf report. I always check the buoys um, in the wind and the, in the swell direction and everything like that. And if I know it's good, and I know I'm getting ready to paddle out or swim out with my camera. It's funny, like almost every time, even now after six or seven years of shooting, I'll get butterflies in my stomach and I'll, I'll get nervous, my chest will get tight and I'll just kind of like have to breathe through it. Like, I mean, I'm not like gonna say, I'm like, oh cocky, I'll just go out there and I'm just gonna go out there and do it, you know? I still, every time I go out when it's huge, I take a deep breath and I, when I'm leaving my house, I get a little nervous and when I get down there and I, and I get in my, get out of my car and I have my housing and I'm getting my camera ready. Sometimes I'm a little shaky, sometimes I'm, Sometimes I'm more confident than others if it's late in the season, I've been swimming a lot. Yeah, it all, it all pays off when you get to see the pictures. We're at Pipe right now, pulling into the parking lot. Probably so full, but I usually get a spot.
But if I haven't swam for a while, the nerves tend to be a, the run a little higher. Um, but it's it's crazy because I'll get all my stuff ready. I'll have so much stuff to prepare, check all my settings on my camera, make sure everything's right, strap up my housing, put my helmet on and, and bring my fins and put my vest on or my wetsuit top. I don't have everything ready. There's so much that goes into it. People don't even realize. They think you just swim out there and just take photos, but there's so many variables that it that in itself causes a little nerves. But I'll get everything ready and then I'll walk down the beach. Everybody's looking at you like, who's this guy? Whoa, this guy's gonna swim out with his camera. Like you can tell they're all like, whoa, is this guy gonna swim out? And I'll walk down to the water, I'll stare at it, I'll watch the waves for probably, it could be five minutes, it could be 20 or 30 minutes, depending on how big it is. And I'll wait for an opportunity to jump in the water. And as soon as I hit the water, as soon as I get in that water and I'm swimming, everything just goes away, even right on the shoreline. And I'm just, this is it. I have, I cannot turn back now. I have to swim out. I have to go out there and, and do what I love. So as far as equipment, um, I use a water housing and several different port attachments that allow me to switch my lenses out. Uh, it could be a dome port that's like a circ like a concave um, piece of plastic that it separates the water in a way that allows you to do under over photos. How a dome port has an effect on an image is when you are in the water and that port is, say a flat port is this close, it's this close to your lens. Well, a dome port comes out and pulls the water away from your lens, giving you more space between your lens and the water. So you can capture a lot more of below and above at the same time. As far as the equipment that I use, I shoot with a Canon. Um, I shoot with a, one of their flagship uh, sports cameras. It's called the Canon 1DX Mark II. It does extremely um, incredible video as well as stills. And it allows me to capture many photos in just one second of time so I can capture that one moment that's perfect. Basically in surfing, a guy could be in a wave and there are gonna be 20 shots of him 
with water in front of him, and then one with like the perfect stance and the perfect angle and the perfect everything. So that camera allows me to capture the, the little moments of surfing that I like to capture. The Canon 1DX Mark II is amazing for um, sports because of the, uh, the video it does and the number of photos it can take in a second. The only downfall I would say is that it's really big and heavy, so it's harder to swim with. I get asked this question all the time. People message me all the time. What, what do I do? How do I get to do what you do? I want to do what you do. Um, and it's funny because I remember asking other photographers the same question. And I would always ask them that and they would tell me what I tell all the people that ask me and I never wanted to believe them. But my answer always is to shoot as much as you can. Simple as that. If you shoot as much as you can and you spend as much time on it as you possibly can, you will not fail. You will slowly over time weed out the photos you don't like and only photograph the things you do. And over time, it's just you get sick of the photos that aren't good. And that's basically it. <laughs> So as far as taking photos, that's one part of it. That's that's just the that's more the easy part for me. After learning all the settings and learning how to um, control my camera and, and learning how to take photos and any light lighting situation or uh, in any scenario, whether I'm in the water or on land, there's a lot of work afterwards on the computer, both with post processing and editing and and exporting your photos and file preparing files for them to be emailed and, and emailing files and creating galleries. There's so much to it. Um, I would say the time that you spend on the computer is probably doubled over the time you spend shooting or more. And I could sit and look at a photo and on the computer and just stare at it for hours. It's not just swimming and shooting pipe and and just it's not just pushing the button you know that's probably the easiest part after I've learned everything and I know how to use my camera the next step is learning how to process your photos and manage your files and export your files for a proper display on whether they're being printed or um, or put up on a website and you just have to be patient you have to sit there and wait and not not all the time is somebody going to be on the wave as far as like frames and when i'm when i'm swimming out at pipeline it i'm just waiting for these moments to come where it's like there's nobody in front of you 
So when I when I'm shooting at pipeline, I'm I swim out with the intentions of being out there for hours at a time. And you could swim out there, depending on the quality of the waves, you could swim out there for three hours and maybe get one photo. Um, but on this particular day, this is the Dehui backdoor shootout. Uh, there were beautiful, beautiful waves. It's one of the most beautiful days I've had ever and the most beautiful day this winter that I got to photograph. Um, these are surfers. This is a surfer from New York. He, uh, very, very, very good surfer. Um, he got a wave, a bunch of waves that day. Um, and then I got a lot of empty waves. These are some of my favorite pipeline photos yet. So when, when the light is right and, and the moment is right, you just know it. You just know. And you've worked so hard for it that when it happens, you're just, it's just everything. You know, this is one of my favorites because right here you can see the waves forming and then it's just about to touch right there. I wish that this was not, I wish I could see the, everything in the foreground, but I think that adds character all these little reflections and stuff. I've had a lot of photographs published. Um, I've been in a lot of surf magazines. I've been in surf books and uh, I've been on websites. I've been, I've had photos purchased for like catalogs or by companies for advertising, a little bit of everything. Photography, water photography, I love it, it's my passion.